let me be so for real right now i try to be very picky about what books i buy real estate on these shelves is limited Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So last year and the year before I normally would do like wrap ups every month where I would talk about the books that I read each month kind of give like a quick summary what I rated it and why. Uh, but this year I have not done a single wrap up and I kept thinking like how can I do a wrap up or talk about all the books that I've read especially when at this point I've read so many. Um, but like how do I do this without making it like a two hour video. And then I saw Brie from the Booktiver do this. Now I've seen the Yes No Maybe videos on like TikTok, but I've never seen it in like long form content until Brie did it. Not saying that she was the first one to do it, she just was the first person that I saw do this. So I was like, ding, here we go. So I thought this would be a great way to do kind of like a rundown of all the books that I've read so far this year. So if you're interested to see all the books that I've read so far this year and whether or not I think you should read them, then keep on watching. In general, I do read more from borrowed services like Libby, Everan, um, KU, stuff like that. But surprisingly, when I was looking at the list of books that I've read this year, they're pretty much split down the middle between books that I've read physically and books that I've borrowed. So I was pretty surprised at that. But I'm going to start off with the books that I physically own and then jump into the books that I've borrowed. And then I'll also let you know which books I may be done like videos for like reading vlogs and stuff in case you want to check those out to get more context for my yes, no and maybe. So to kick us off, we're going to start off and these are not in any particular order. We're going to start off with better than movies. Yes. The Proposal, eh, maybe. Alone with You in the Ether, maybe. I love this. Um, it's one of the only books that I've given five stars this year. One of two that I've given five stars this year. Uh, but it might just be a me thing. So I'm going to say maybe. The Lifeguards, no. The Romantic Agenda, yes, for sure. A great warm weather read. I did a reading vlog for this as part of the Battle of the Booktuber, so check that out. Butcher and Blackbird, maybe. Homer's Where the Bodies Are, maybe. Just for the summer, yes, do it now. I have a whole reading vlog dedicated to this one book, so yes, for sure. When in Rome, yes, surprisingly. The Naturals, yes. The Inheritance Games, no. Hot take, but no. Maybe I need to reread this, but for now, I'm going to say no. Unwinding Anxiety, yes. I don't have a reading vlog for this, but I did do a whole live discussion for this on my channel. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But yes, definitely, especially if you are someone that struggles with anxiety, highly recommend. All the Sinners Bleed, depends on the reader. So I'll say maybe. Before I let go, are you kidding me? Yes, obviously yes, of course. If you do nothing else, if you take nothing away from this video, yes. Icebreaker, yeah. Carrie Soto is back, maybe. Um, Suburban Hell was actually next on this list, but I forgot the book and left it at my mom's house, but the answer is no, so you're not missing anything. 1984, maybe. All the Best Liars, maybe. Love Theoretically, no. Things We Never Got Over, surprisingly, yes. Animal Farm, yes. I tabbed the crap out of this, yes. Death Note, the Black Edition Volume 4, which I believe is volumes, yes, yeah, 7 and 8, yes. I also reread Shatter Me um, because I wanted to start the series over this year, so yes. Next, we're going to move on to the books that I do not own physically. These are probably books that I read like from Everan or Libby or borrowed from the library physically or whatever the case may be. I'm also going to tell you in addition to the yes, no, maybe, I'm going to tell you whether or not I would buy these books since I don't physically own them. Now, this is more so of like a hypothetical, like perfect world scenario. If I had unlimited money and unlimited space to store books, whether or not I would buy these. So even though I may say yes to some of them, you may never see them on my shelf because I only have limited space and I'm very picky about what books I buy or decide I, I try to be very picky. Let me be so for real right now. I try to be very picky about what books I buy. Beach Read, which is a yes and yes. Bright Young Women, which is a yes and yes. Five Survive, maybe and no. Don't plan on putting this on my shelf. Only When It's Us, maybe. Also wouldn't buy this to put it on my shelf. Nevermore, definitely yes. And also yes, I would buy this. 
Never let me go? No, 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 no. And did I mention? No. None of this is true. Maybe? It was a no for me, <laughs> and I would not buy this, but maybe for someone else? Uh, leather and Lark? No. Uh, just no. I would only buy this if I really end up enjoying the third book in this series, just so that I can have the full set. But otherwise, I don't plan on adding this to my collection of books on my shelf. It's all love, yes, and yes. Blood Justice, absolutely yes. It's not for everyone, but I also don't care and I'm still gonna recommend it to people. I had such a fun time reading it, so yes. And I probably won't buy this until they come up with new covers because I don't like the cover of this book, but otherwise I would buy it. This is how you lose the time war, maybe? Uh, again, it was a no for me personally, so I wouldn't buy it, but you know, to each their own. Lore Olympus Volume 1, yes. If this came in a consolidated bind up that has all the volumes together, I would buy it, but by itself, nah. The Seven Year Slip, maybe, but I didn't like it enough to buy it. Role playing, yes and yes. The Cheat Sheet, again, yes and yes. The Calvary Road, yes for all my Christian girlies, and maybe I would buy it. I have it on ebook, so I don't know if I would want a physical copy or not. Yeah. Bake it till you bake it. It wasn't anything groundbreaking, but yes and yes. The Fury, again, nothing earth shattering, but yes and yes. A Master of Gin and the two companion novellas, yes to the novellas, no to the novel. I wouldn't buy any of them though. You're not supposed to die tonight. Yes and yes. Girl on the Porch, maybe. It's short, so why not? But I wouldn't buy it. The Resort, no. Absolutely not. Just just don't and thank me later. Legendary, maybe. It's YA fantasy, so I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea. And I'm not sure if I want to buy it. I really need to read the third book first to decide if I want the whole set, and then we'll go from there. The Alva's Mate, no and no out there screaming now this is an anthology so it's hard to say yes no maybe because it's a compilation of a bunch of different short stories by different authors so like some might be yeses some might be noes so i guess collectively i would say maybe and as far as whether or not i would buy it um maybe i guess and those are all of the 50 plus books that i have read this year up to this point let me know down below if you have read any of these and what your thoughts were did you agree disagree agree to disagree and if you made it this far into this wrap-up video drop the burrito emoji down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye